Here's how to add a simple pause button to your game. Now the game itself doesn't actually matter, but you can see that the score is moving, the timer is moving, and when I press the P key, everything stops, including the movement of that green square. And I'm going to show you how to do this now. When I let off the P key, everything goes back to normal. So, how to do it. I've made this timer a little bit longer just so I can show you how to do things. Uh, in this game, the score decreases as long as my little cursor, my little blue dot, is not inside the green. But again, the point of the game doesn't even matter. Uh, the point is that you can stop anything from functioning with a simple if block. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say if the P key is pressed, P for pause. So I'm going to say if key down and the letter P. Well, when P is pressed, I want actually nothing to happen. I want all these things that are happening to stop happening. So I'm going to leave that one empty. And then I'm going to click the little plus to get the else. And else is what's going to occur when P isn't pressed. And when, when P isn't pressed, I want everything to happen. So I'm going to take every single bit of this code, cut it out, and move it up here into the else. So now everything's running, the timer, the score, all that stuff is running until I press the P key and everything freezes. And as soon as I let go of the P key, everything starts going. It's just that simple.